According to a 2013 report of the Romanian Customs Service, 50% of all the goods of brand names, whether be it um, luxury watches, luxury clothes, or even consumer goods such as cigarettes, are uh, actually fake and they come from Turkey, they come from China, they come from everywhere. And what's interesting is that they're actually being sold everywhere basically, in malls, just in normal department stores, and not just in those fake markets. Oh wow, look at this back backyard here. Let's, let's walk in here and see what we can find here. But what I wanted to show you today is one of these malls and find out if they're actually selling those fake products. Ooh, a, a sketchy backyard in Bucharest. Not only this was pretty much unbelievable for me, but also it triggered my interest and I thought I'll just come to Bucharest and I'll check it out and make a video on it because it's pretty interesting to me. Um, yeah, so I came here to the city. Um, oh, there's a person lying over there. So I'm not gonna, not gonna go on here. I'm probably gonna just go back out. There's someone lying on the floor. All right, where was I? So in Bucharest, with its 1.8 million people population, um, the normal, the normal people, so to speak, live in the outskirts. Of course, they don't live here in the in the city center, which, I mean, by Western standards, can also be pretty run down, I'd say. But they live where you can find these malls where they sell the fake products. Well, I read that many of the items sold as real items come to Romania with no label on and then get the brand names stuck on them after clearing customs. Also heard that only about 3% of all the fake uh, products here ever get taken out of traffic by customs or the police. So let's check out these malls and get uh, on the metro first. Wow, so these fountains are all part of the whole area here that they built. It's pretty spectacular actually and very loud. Also, I think it's funny how all the big companies here advertise and it looks like it's been like this since the 70s. So maybe Pepsi is advertising with the same Pepsi can that it has been in the Ceausescu era. And a lot, a lot of traffic here. But I like it, it's a good vibe. So the metro station here is called Tudor Vladimirescu and if you're wondering who that is, I saw him earlier in the palace. So apparently this is a very normal residential area here in Romania. Wow, look at the, the trash here. Good morning. Dacha. So many Dachas here. So there are green tram tracks. How progressive is that? And this apparently is the mall we have arrived. I'm excited to see if there's actually fake stuff. Okay, so they're priced around 60 euros. Also, those are priced around 70, 80 euros. Doesn't really seem to be fake to me. I did my research and I 
when to see where counterfeit products are being sold because apparently they have been seen in normal malls in normal shops but um, in my investigation I haven't seen that I have not come across a shop that seems to be selling fake products although I've seen some very cheaply priced shoes I don't think that they were fake the thing is that I have not seen any real looking stores at least so there was no Nike store and no whatever Adidas store in there but just those um, third-party stores the third-party sellers that sold shoes and clothes and jewelry under Western European prices sure very very cheap no not even half the price I'm not quite sure if they were fake but I think um, that there's some bad reputation and the article that I told you earlier about was from 2013 maybe things have changed for the better so here on the old train tracks maybe maybe this is some some more appropriate presentation of the real Romania and how people really live behind me and also in front of me hello hello how are you? I'm fine. I think people are nice here. Although I couldn't find any counterfeit products really, I think this is still an interesting look into Romania, Romania's capital. Or maybe here we have some counterfeit. And those shoes here are 50 each. That's 10 euros. They have 40 lei and 45 lei. So those shoes are 60. And the fake um, the fake Nike shoes that they have here seem to be 45. Don't look kebab. Oh, this looks good. So I guess there you have it, a true rural Romanian fake market, fake counterfeit market, although they didn't really have, they didn't really have brand names on it, but it was still just weird fake Turkish and Chinese uh, products. So um, I'll leave you with that for today. And I will see you soon with more insights and more stories from Eastern Europe. Join me on my, on my trip I'm taking soon. I will see you in the next video. Garbage can in the background. Goodbye.